we walk from 23rd Street and 5th Avenue down to 19th Street. The length of the video is about eight minutes, which is close to real time. It is May 2024. We begin our experience on 5th Avenue at 23rd Street and 5th Avenue. At this intersection, by the way, there's an awful lot to see if you got time to bop around. Amazing amount of things going on within a few hundred feet of this intersection. Anyhow, we're heading south on 5th Avenue. On our left, where all the scaffolding is, is the Flatiron Building. The Flatiron Building is being converted into condos, we think. At first it was, then it wasn't, and so on and so forth. But as typically New York businesses go, things go up and back, up and back, and eventually it'll get straightened out. Condos, commercial, both, whatever. And right below it is a, a city tours bus, a private company. People probably got off to take pictures of the Flatiron Building. And Fifth Avenue from end to end, as big and as long as it is, has unbelievable number of upscale stores everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Kenichi is a Japanese market, recently opened, sushi, groceries, serving people who live in and around the Flatiron District. Menswear. And now we're heading south on Fifth Avenue again, and this is Hoka. Yes, I wear Hoka. I love them. And in fact, you may have your brand, I have mine, and they work, and who wants to say more than that, except I'm happy with them. Now we're at 21st Street, and we're coming up on a store. To this day, I can't figure out what is going on. Look in the window, and there's a car. Okay, so there's a car. How did the car get in there? I have no idea. No idea. There it sits. Fable ticks. Studs is an ear piercing place. We're looking back north on Fifth Avenue from where we just came. Eileen Fisher. And of course, no New York City walk would be complete without scaffolding or the street or the sidewalk all ripped up. No exception here. This is Fifth Avenue, we're approaching 20th Street, and I'm happy to say the sidewalk's all ripped up. This is looking down a side street. I should have said 21st Street, I'm sorry, I'm mixing them up. This is 21st. And that's looking down 21st Street. And here we come upon a coffee shop, always crowded, always. I go by here a lot, it's always crowded with people on the sidewalk, people inside. And that's where you go if you see and wanna be seen, great spot. And they serve a coffee named 
Ralph's. Ralph's coffee. Super popular. Across the street is Abercrombie and Fitch, among others. Just as many stores on one side as on the other side. And now we're coming to 20th Street. And yes, there's New Balance. Hey, if Hoka can be on Fifth Avenue, so can New Balance. Nothing like a little competition. Take your choice. And we keep walking, and here's a pizza place. Really good. I eat here a lot. Roma Pizza. They have sidewalk seating and lots of good seating in the back. For real, actually, you can sit down and eat your pizza in the back or on the C and B scene sidewalk. And it's good. There's pizza, hamburgers, they have everything. Philadelphia cheesesteak, really good. There's the menu. Missouri. It's a piercing studio. Yes, it's a piercing studio on Fifth Avenue. And here we are at 19th Street. Psycho Bunny. And believe it or not, you can play golf in here, for real, inside the building, way up on a high floor. <laughs> 